So how much toothpaste, cooling, compound, whatever you want to call it, how much of that should you apply on your CPU in this video? Yeah, we're gonna find out how much is the right amount. Let's get, let's get started. Right, so we need to uh, change the angle a bit. I'm not sure if you guys can see me, but here I am. I need to get another camera. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so today's topic is how much cooling compound cooling toothpaste whatever you want to call it how much do you need on your cpu how much is too much and who uh, how much is too little basically now i just need to uh, get these mountings off super quick so we're gonna uh, for this specific video we're gonna use a p55 from gigabyte the p55 a ud3 more specifically uh, <laughs> this was my main PC gaming rig back in the days in uh, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2012, 2013, something like that. Now, we're gonna use a, uh, the, the, the first ever actually uh, Core i5 from Intel, the uh, i760, uh, right? Which has a base clock of uh, 2.8 actually. We got four threads and... <laughs> No, four cores and zero threads, sorry. All right, now, few things before we get started. Uh, how do you mount this, basically? I look at each corner, look for a arrow, so to speak. When you find the arrow, find the arrow on the, on the CPU and just line it up. Simple as that. We need to get it in focus. All right, so, yeah, we're gonna use a Noctua for this specific video. We're gonna try and see how much cooling compound you need. Uh, how much is too much and how much is too uh, little again? So let's just come up with this scenario. Let's just role play for a second. Let's say I've never ever in my life built a computer before. So I have no idea how much cooling combine I'm, I'm gonna need. So I have watched Linus Textive for a while and and once upon a time he told me that you should use plenty, alright? Is this too much? Probably yes. But since I've never done this before, I'm gonna go with this anyway. So instead of looking up tech videos on the uh, interwebs, I'm gonna go with my instinct. How about that? So, uh, now let's say this is what I believe is the right amount of cooling compound. Let's see what happens. Disclaimer. Not recommend you guys to try this at home because you're gonna need plenty of time to clean this up afterwards. I'm gonna show you what happens if you go totally bonkers, bananas, whatever you want to call it. If you go overboard using too much cooling compound. Let's just give you guys another angle here before I put the heatsink on. Let's see if I can get that in. It's, uh, it's quite a lump actually. Now let's see. Let's put the heatsink on. This is a Noctua 12S and uh, something 12s something now the crucial moment cooling compound should spread out nicely over the uh, cpu ihs I'm, I'm i'm thrilled right now because i'm about to uh, actually now let's see put the heat sink on this is a noctua 12s uh, put the heat the crucial moment and I'm nicely over the uh, CPU. I'm, I'm thrilled right now. Actually, now let's see. Think of on this is a Noctua 12. Put the heat. Thrilled right now. This is a knocked. On this is a knocked.
Uh, we're back again 10 minutes later. I've cleaned the CPU and I also went to the bathroom. I had to urinate. Now let's see. Let's see. Now this time I'm gonna be a little bit more uh, cautious. Okay. Put the CPU back. Lock it down. Lock it down. So after been watching plenty of Linus Tech Tips. I think... I think this... Would be absolutely perfect. Let's be gentle here. I don't want to clean anymore. Now let's see. Now you might say, but this is... But Robin, this can't be. This can't be. That lump is so small, I can't even see it. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna show you. Let's just move this around a bit so you guys can see from another angle, maybe. I honestly believe that you won't need more than this. But let's see. Let's give it another go. Round two at Robin's boot camp. Is it too much? Is it too little? Let's find out. Let's find out. Lock it down. Heatsink is successfully installed. Time to take it off and find out. Now, why is a video like this necessary? Well, in my opinion, I've seen plenty of people go completely overboard with this. Right, here we go. Awesome. Almost completely covered as well. Probably should have moved the uh, the lamp more into the center. As long as you cover most of the CPU, you're gonna be fine here, guys. Now, as you can see, I probably... Now, as you can see, guys, taking a look at the sink here, we probably could have used even less compound here. Yeah, this video was just a simple video showing you guys the amount of cooling compound you need is not gonna be as much as you probably think. Now, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Now, I wanna know in the comments below, have you ever put together a PC before? And also, should I delete the CPU? Let me know if you find that interesting. Now, thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and yeah, until next time, have an awesome day, right? Bye.